Hello there, I'm here today to talk to you about my Match It range. I'm really excited about this range because there's so much craftability. If you've never heard about it before, the way to describe it is the images match a die and maybe a stamp as well as the artwork. So for example, if we have a look here, you can see that we have this Match It paper pad and you have at the back gorgeous 16 scenes so you can pull out to make a card but then also what you have as I go through it you have these characters now these are the character sheets and next to the character sheets you can see that we have extra elements as well and then you have the die so then you would overlay it now for those of you that are interested in stamping and love doing your stamping but I'm not keen on cutting out. What we've also done is that some of the match it ranges have the stamps to match the dies. So as you can see here, you've got that gorgeous stamp and then you've got the die that matches and we've got some, some of the die sets have extra accessories that you can use with the stamps. So that's how easy it is to match up the actual designs. I want to show you how to go about cutting out the characters. So I've already started using this pad, so I'm going to use this sheet here. Now remember, with the Match It ranges, whether you have the card making kits or you have the Match It paper pads, both of them will have characters and they'll also have scenes or toppers that you can use in your card making or scrapbooking. So what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to use your Match It dies, like we have here, with our match it sheet and how to die cut it out. Now they've been designed so you just lift them up like so. So I'm going to just lay that down. And it's like playing snap really. You overlay in your design with the design character design. So I'm just using some tacky tape and then I'm going to lift up my characters, put that on there. I love the Journey to Wonderland collection. It is just so much fun to use and the artwork is amazing. We've worked really hard to give you that lovely enchanted range. Now, as I said, some of the match it ranges will have accessory dies, and these you can just pop up like so, line it up. Just gonna get some more tape there. Now we have always, when it comes to the ranges, we have like almost like a gold edging. That way, if you accidentally go off a little bit, you won't have a white line. So I'm gonna put that one on there. Get some more tape and just make sure, oops, that's come away, that you put enough tape to keep it secure as you go through your die cutting machine. Now all the match it ranges use thin dies and you need to follow your manufacturing instructions depending on what die cutting machine you're going to use. So I'm just going to die cut these three, or I should say fork. I'm just going to get, I'm using a cutter book I've got my base plate there, my cutting plate goes on that. Use the sandwich instructions from your manufacturing for thin dies, through your manufacturing manual. And then let me get the cutter book. I'm going to turn it round. And whether you use an electric one or just a simple handle one like I am here, you'll find it just goes through very quickly, like so. And then what I'm going to do is show you how easy they've gone through and how lovely they've cut. So if I then just turn that over, can you see how sharp it's cut out beautifully? Now if for some reason you find that it doesn't cut out because you haven't used the right sandwich, just put it back through again. So as you can see, they pop out very easily. I'm just going to get all my characters. I have to say the white rabbit's one of my favourites, so you just pop them all out like so. And it's that easy. So have a go and happy crafting. <laughs>